Why learning grammar is important? Language is a medium of communication that helps to express our feelings, desires, and queries to the world around us. The ability to use language distinguishes humans from other animals, and when we know a language, we can speak and be understood by others who know that language. Effective communication requires an understanding and recognition of the connection between a language and the people who use it. The ability to use a language requires profound knowledge that most speakers don't know that they know. Language is considered to be an infinite set of well-formulated sentences, and it can be deduced by the grammar. Hence grammars are the theories of language composed of hypotheses of the structure of some part of the language. In layman's terms, grammar is the use of the rules on how words change their form, and combine with other words to make sentences. Prescriptive and Descriptive Grammar About what Amy Reynolds' understanding of two different ways that language has been talked about, in disciplines that focus on the use of language, and these are descriptive grammar and prescriptive grammar. Prescriptive grammar describes when people focus on talking about how a language should be used. It tells you how you should speak and what type of language to avoid, in which this is commonly found in classes wherein it is very particular on its rules, and structure of grammar. While on the other hand descriptive grammar, focuses on describing the language as it is used, not saying how it should be used. A good example for this is when you're telling a story to somebody, and whenever you are in the pick part of your story, and he or she interrupts you with your grammar then that would probably be annoying. The moment that you are not so particular in the usage of grammar and speaking, and as long as the listener understand of what you are trying to say, then it falls as descriptive grammar in which it also consider as a practical speaking, while when it turns out that it's so particular with the proper usage of the rules and structure of it, then it considers as prescriptive grammar. Basis of your language ability. Grammar is one of the first things we pick up as we learn to speak and use language. As we listen to others talk, the patterns and structures of the words they use become intuitive rules. We automatically use these rules when we start to form sentences. Without using a proper structure and rules of sentences, it will not that be so effective to deliver your thoughts and express yourself as it's supposed you expect, as unclear communication is the biggest issue caused by using incorrect grammar when in writing or in speaking. Moreover, when creating communicate misunderstandings, incorrect grammar makes a poor first impression. If you are a job seeker with grammatical errors in your resume, a company recruiter may see you as less intelligent than a candidate who has similar skills but was able to proofread properly. In writing, grammar is not just about avoiding mistakes. Do you want to teach English abroad? Take a TEFL course today. Understanding how grammar works are fundamental for all writers. While it can be argued that good grammar knowledge will not necessarily make you a better writer, it is recognized that it will help make you a more effective writer. Grammar is best thought of as a set of linguistic habits, that are constantly being negotiated and reinvented by the entire group of language users, and it is the structural foundation of our ability to express ourselves. The more we are aware of how it works, the more we can monitor the meaning and effectiveness of the way we and others use language. Thanks so much for watching. We are ITTT, the leading provider for TEFL and TESOL training courses. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking that button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach English abroad and online.